Yay. So unpacking relationship struggles during trauma. I haven't yet met anybody who's working with us currently or who I've spoken to or who I've worked with in the past and I've worked with thousands of people now that hasn't had a problem with relationships while in it in 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 their trauma responses so i want to focus today on why we find our relationships so difficult to deal with when we're in a trauma response and why this leaves us feeling so empty so why does trauma deeply influence how we relate to others i mean that's the million dollar question right and Every, every insight that we, we shed light on today about relationships and why it's so traumatic is also how our trauma molds our expectations, our actions and our needs. So the first point I want to make to you is that in, in our modern life today, we have such rising expectations from our romantic relationships. You know, in today's world, we just place such enormous expectation on our partners. And if, we, if you have one and if you in, are, are in a relationship, you know, our partners today, our wives, our husbands need to be our best friends. They need to be our lovers. They're our financial partners. They're our emotional support. They're our crutch, even our personal therapist. But think about how unrealistic that actually is. Not no one can fulfill all of those roles at one time. And what trauma does is that it heightens these expectations because it creates this void in us and things we didn't receive when we were growing up, when we were at, uh, in our teens, in our young adulthood, we now expect from our relationship. But we cannot bring those past expectations, expectations or what hasn't happened to us in our now relationship because it doesn't work. And when someone has experienced trauma, they expect their partner to compensate all the time. They look to them to fill that emotional gap. But what if that partner isn't able capable emotionally intuitive enough to deliver that what if the key is actually recognizing that some of these voids need healing within ourselves first rather than try and get it from our partner so understanding this can be hugely important to help reduce the disappointment you feel in your partner but actually what it does is this dynamic that's been put on to us remember trauma and, and and our experience is done to us not because of us we can't choose our our family you can't choose your parents if that's where your trauma came from but we can choose our relationships and we can choose what we do about it so understanding how our relationships have been affected can help reduce the disappointment we feel when we are placed in uh, 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 under such great pressure in our relationships and it can prevent the relationship from being very negative. The second point that I want to bring up to you is that uh, is, is something called communi communicative negotiation. Every relationship is based on ongoing negotiation and that's what good relationships bring. And, you know, Excellent communication isn't just about saying the right words. It's about understanding and negotiating each person's needs consistently. Okay, you need this now, so I'll give you this, but I'm going to need this then. So you need to be capable of returning that. Do you understand what your partner's needs are? And do they understand, or your husband or your wife, do they understand your needs? And the biggest problem we've got is that trauma often impairs our ability to communicate effectively. So what does it do? It brings fear, anxiety, and shutdown. So what we tend to do is we go through our day giving our best energy to work, friends, strangers, because we're surviving, right? Then we come home and we offer our partner nothing because there's nothing left of us. 
We work with this dynamic in our trauma recovery method program absolutely every day. And as I've said to you before, identity and who we are and self-love, we dissociate immensely, which causes conflict, but generally it's in our relationships. And that is the basis of our trauma recovery method program and how we help our, uh, how we help our clients. So trauma recovery includes consciously flipping your script, saving the best parts of you so that you can become close to the people you love most. It's about believing that every single human being has the, belief, has the ability to change. It's your job to create the belief that you can. We offer a structured process to take you through this step by step by step based in modules with weekly uh, uh, Theracote sessions, deep dives. We offer a step-by-step -step modular base. And incidentally, you never lose access to any of our materials. So not only do we work with your past, we work with your now, and then we help you build your future because that's the only way to recover. And that's how we do it for our clients. If you need to know more or you want to know more, book a consultation with us comment below my live today and we'll reach out to you but make it happen we can't help you i can't help you if you take the first steps how can i help you if you don't take the first steps believe in you love yourself again have a super 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 fab day wherever you are in the world bye